play the large man who is uh, Howlin' Wolf. Uh, and that's actually why I was so interested to, to do the, the, the play, because uh, the script is magnificent. So uh, kudos to, uh, to Nathan for writing this, this wonderful script. Um, so when Sheree reached out to me and I read it, uh, I'm a blues guy. I, I actually play blues music and sing blues and I, I'm a huge Howlin' Wolf fan. And once I saw that it was about him, I was sold right away. Uh, yeah. And, you know, I mean, because we, we don't really get a lot about his story and, and know much about him. A lot of people know maybe some of his songs or know that he was a really large human being, but we don't really know that much about him. And so it, it's kind of interesting just to see, um, you know, a, a take on his life or, or to, you know, to, to see him being a part of this story. Exactly. Yeah, I... Um... It, it's a wonderful piece of writing and and obviously so in the in the in the uh, reading you guys have already started rehearsing correct right right so are you doing the live singing over the zoom you doing the whole thing yeah doing the whole thing man i, I actually uh busted it out a, a acapella the other day and so uh sheree asked me to to incorporate the guitar because i play guitar um i have a harmonica but i haven't learned how to play it yet my son yeah. actually plays the harmonica <laughs> so right, right. <laughs> i'm gonna have to get him to uh, give me some pointers on how to play. But right. um, yeah, so I've, I've been practicing and trying to learn the song and, and get it down so that by the, by the actual day, we'll be ready to rock, man. Right, so obviously the role of Howlin' Wolf, you know, you were attracted to that role specifically, but was there, yeah. um, especially tying in with the whole theme of the Breathe Reading series, is there, you know, the play overall, I mean, what about it intrigues you? What about the story kind of made you wanna, you know, tag along and, and tell Parker, is there any, um, you know, particular part that speaks to you. I mean, this is all, you know, from your perspective. So we're, we're you sure. know, trying to hear it, man. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I will just say that it, it's so, uh, it, it's so relevant, even though there's a lot of time travel that's taking place. Right. Um, it, it's so unfortunate that it is still relevant because, you know, the things that, uh, you know, people were, were battling against in terms of racism or, you know, things, um, or, or just, you know, social injustice, you know, racial disparity, all that is still happening today. It's happening within the black community, within the Asian community. So, you know, it's just one of those pieces that even though there is really great music involved and it's a great story and, and it moves along, there's still some really key things that are taking place in this, in this script that people really need to be tuned into. Um, yeah. And that's really what the draw was for me is, is it's just how, how important it is to keep these things in the forefront and not lose sight of, of what's really going on in society. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like you kind of got a twofer. You got a meaty role, but it's also in like a really, sounds like, I mean, to you, obviously a, me a meaningful play, which, you know. Absolutely. That's all yeah. as we hope for, you know, so. That's right, um, man. I, yeah, <laughs> that's perfect. So how, how long you been singing for? Woo, uh, singing in front, well, well, I've been singing, you know, ever since I was born. I mean, that's what my parents say. Like, you came out singing, came, you know, but, but I didn't actually sing in front of people believe it or not, until about maybe 10 years ago, um, because my voice has been like this for ever since I was like 15. Right. And yeah, and so I, I was a little shy because like, you know, who's the kid with the baby face? You know, because when I shave, I, I look very young. The um, voice, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and so it just kind of, it, it doesn't really match. And uh, so I was always afraid to like open up and let that out. But as I got older, I decided, you know what, man, you know, I, I like to make music and, and might as well just go ahead and share it with the world. So I started putting out music and the rest is history. That's awesome. Do you have anything on Spotify that you want to plug here or any? Anything? I do. I do. Thank you. Yes. Uh, you can get my, my EP, Shot of Bourbon. Um, it, it's on all the streaming services. And also my, my full length LP, Old Soul, is on uh, all the streaming services. So Brandon Jones, look for those two. And uh, yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, of course, man. We'll we'll have <laughs> if you're watching this, definitely gotta check that out.